WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we have a pretty calm market to start off the trading day on Thursday. Dow Jones currently positive, 25 points, trading just above 26,000, 26,010. You've got S&Ps negative by three, trading at 2789, and the NASDAQ negative by 17 points, trading at 7536. As we start off the trading day this morning, we're going to check out the VIX for the volatility index back to a 14 handle quite a number yesterday quite a number but 16 17 at the market at the lows early in the day but the market of course storming back to almost positive territory across the board and the vix 1461 with that in mind let's jump over to the futures markets we'll start it off with the dow so we were lower overnight about 2 a.m eastern time 25,881 in the dow up more than 100 points right now looking at the march futures contract right on the dot 26,002. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar pattern. Lows at 3 a.m. for the NASDAQ, 7,072. We were just up there at about 7,120, right at 7,100 as we speak. S&P is trading at 27.88. We're about six points lower overnight. There's your gold contract with some volatility as well. We trade up to 13.28 reaching that high in between about 6.30 and 7 a.m. this morning. And from there, you're off a bit. Gold trading at 13.20. And crude oil, just above $57, 57.01 of the price of April crude. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, fundamentally getting the fourth quarter GDP 2.6% beating the estimate of 2.2%. So that number, sure to put a bid under the market. Talk about putting a bid under the market. J.C. Penney's chairs up huge this morning. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment as they are going to plan to shut 18 department stores, but they did pretty well in the numbers. There they are. 18 cents earnings per share versus only 10 expected. They beat on revenue. Same store sales only down 4%. They were looking for a decline of 4.3%. So the market liking those numbers for sure. To jump over to the chart this morning, J.C. Penny. There it is. So yesterday, closing at about 125, you're up 21%, 20, almost 22% for JCPenney, $1.51. Stay tuned. We come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We get natural gas inventories at 1030. Then, of course, fast market from TD Ameritrade, Thinker Swim at 11. Get there. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Thursday.